Hello everyone, welcome back to our second to last video in our DSi hacking series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to download and install your DS ROMs or Game Boy ROMs or any ROMs um, that you want onto this DS. Um, this will only work for older ROMs like um, NES, SNES, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, um, up to DS. Um, it will not work for 3DS games, it will not work for Nintendo Switch or anything like that. It will just work for the older ones. The only thing that I don't think will work on here are GameCube ROMs and Nintendo 64 game ROMs. But yeah, in this video I'll be showing you how to get all that all on our SD card. Um, and again, sorry for the long wait, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and do it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Alright guys, so on the computer, I have simply just made a folder here called Tutorial ROMs. And I just have these two NDS files. Um, just look it up, just find places to download them. Um, you'll find them fairly easy. So here I just have simple Mario Kart and we have New Super Mario Bros. So here we have two NDS files. And with these NDS files here, all we're gonna do now is we're gonna want to plug in our um, DS um, SD card that we've been um, storing here. And there we go. And now we have our SD cards here. It's an SD card here. So here we have all of these new, new folders here. And you should see right here this little ROMs um, tab here. So here we can go ahead and open it. And here we can see that we have all of these different ROMs we can add here. Ignore this DSi where, um, don't worry about that one. But here we have A26. I have no idea what all these are. I know we have Game Boy, we have Game Boy Advanced. Um, I'm not sure what gen is, so we have NDS here. We have NES, SMS, SNES, we have all of these different things here. So here, we're going to want to go to our NDS um, folder right here, and we're just going to want to grab our NDS files, um, and you just drag them straight to your NDS folder. Now, if you are doing this for, you know, Game Boy Advance, you do the same thing. Just put it right into the Game Boy Advance folder and we should be good to go. Let's go and copy them over and there we go. So now if we go ahead and click here, we see we have this place NDS ROMs here and we have New Super Mario Bros and Mario Kart. Here, if we go ahead and click on the Game Boy, we see we have place Game Boy Advance games here. Uh, here we have Gen uh, Genesis Mega is the thing here. And uh, Atari. Atari, so these are all Atari games. So yes, so now we have um, Master System, SNES. So there we go. So now we have our ROMs on our SD card and now we can go ahead and unplug it and I'll see you back on the DS. Okay, so now with the DS, we're again, we want to go ahead and just grab our um, SD card here. And just gonna wanna go ahead and plug it in as you would for all of the other tutorials, like so. And just before we go any further, if you haven't watched any of my other tutorials, go back, go to my channel and just go back and watch um, each of the videos. They will step uh, you through how to get everything that I have on this DS uh, right now. And yeah, you should be good to go once you watch all my tutorial videos. All right, so we can go ahead and turn on our DS. So just activate it. And you should get this, as we installed Hiya Custom Firmware last episode. And now we can see here that we have these two options here. You don't want to click on this one, you're going to want to click on this one here to activate that main um, menu, as you so saw in the other video. So we can just hit A and select it. Just go ahead and wait. Not sure if you can hear that, but music is playing. Sound does work on this, guys. Sound works, and your games will save. So yes, awesome. So here we have our Game Boy Advanced ROMs. If you had Game Boy Advanced, click on this folder, um, and you're just gonna want to go ahead and find our ROMs folder here. So ROMs, and just select ROMs. And then we're just going to go ahead and find our NDS folder. Again, if you have any other ROMs, just select that folder and go to them. So we're going to NDS. And when you come here, see, now we have Mario Kart DS and we have Super 
Mario Bros. So now we can go ahead and just select if we want to play Mario Kart. Just give it a second, it will make a saving file, and it will say file created, and then it will load up the bootstrap. Just give it a second. It's going to say creating new RAM dump file. Just give it a second while it's setting this up. Just give it a second. There we go. All right, so now NDS Bootstrap is loading up. Let's go ahead and wait for it. This could take a little bit, um, depending on what game it is, but uh, this didn't take long at all, as you saw. So there we go. Uh, there, we go. there we go. Multiplayer does work. Everything works on here. We got single player and Nick Tame. I don't care. Uh, is it now? Okay. So as we can see here, we can give all these options as usual. You know, we can select whatever character you want, any car. And then as we can see, we start out from scratch. Um, and we can unlock new races. Um, I'll show you that it works. Let's go in for a race. I'm not going to be good, but I'm looking off of this from the camera. So just bear with me. So as you can see, everything works. The CPUs are working. Oop, the CPUs are working um, amazing. Everything. Oh, that was absolutely amazing. Everything is working very well, as a normal game should. Done. But yeah, as you can see. Great. Yeah, so guys, usually I really am very good at Mario Kart. Just right now I'm not, because I'm looking off the camera. But yeah, as you can see, um, it's working amazing. Everything is working. Now we got first. There we go. So, as you can see, everything is working absolutely amazing. You can go through and you can play the next course. I'm not going to show you this. But, um, yeah, there we go. Um, I'll show you the other game very quickly. So you want to see it. Let's quit. If I can. There we go. Quit. And you can just turn off your DS and turn it back on. Sadly, there is no way to just go back to that menu. Um, without it turning off your DS. So we're just going to turn it off and turn it back on. And we can wait and we can select it again. And we can just come back in here. And if you tap the screen here, you can make it go faster. Or it, there we go. It does it sometimes. So yeah, so we can go ahead and make it go faster like that. And then it loads up. It all just load out where you are. And we can go ahead and just Select on Super Mario Bros. It'll do the same thing here. File created, but we don't need to make a new ND, um, a dump full file um, since we already loaded our first game. So there we go. NDS Bootstrap is opening, and there we go. Mario is loading up. So we can go ahead and wait. And there we go. Mario for Luigi. Um, won't work right now. I don't have anyone to play with. But. Yeah, so you can create a new file. This is basically as if you would buy the new game. I, I don't know how you can skip this. <laughs> but as you can see, everything is working um, absolutely amazing, as it should. So, for some reason, some games will not run 
on here. So you're just gonna have to like experiment with some of the games. But, but most games should run um, really good, really well. So we can just. So yeah. So as you can see, it looks just like Super Mario. We can even play levels. We can do everything as if you bought the actual game cartridge. So here we can, you know, play. Do all that. Big mushrooms in here. Yeah. I've played this level so many times. Oh, we can get some. See? Works absolutely amazing. It's, yeah, looks 100%. So there we go. Um, yeah, that's, that's all that there is to it. If you enjoyed this video, please do let me know in the comments down below. And go ahead and, you know, give me a thumbs up on this video, again, if it helped you. And go ahead and subscribe um, for more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great rest of your day.